Living between 245 and 66 million years ago, dinosaurs came in all sorts of shapes and sizes. Many had unique features such as feathers, beaks, spikes, and plates, while many others were simple herbivores that were relatively harmless. And there were some out there that would be an absolute nightmare to meet face to face. So let's take a look at 15 of the most dangerous dinosaurs. Number 15, the Mapusaurus. While a pack of wolves may be pretty scary, a pack of Mapusauruses are much scarier. Found throughout modern day Chile and Argentina, they roamed the earth about 95 million years ago. And at a length of about 12 meters and a weight of about five tons, they were about as large and perhaps even more impressive than Gigantosaurus. This size would allow them to take down much larger prey, and generally speaking, they would team up to take down a massive species of sauropod known as the Argentinosaurus. When combined with its ability to use its large, bone-crushing teeth and run quite fast, it's not hard to see why they were a true menace. Number 14, the Carcharodontosaurus. As far as dinosaurs go, the Carcharodontosaurus, or shark lizard, was certainly formidable. Hailing from northern Africa, it's known for being one of the longest and heaviest carnivorous dinosaurs, as it came in at a height of about 4 meters and a length of up to 14 meters, and weighed a massive 15 tons. In terms of strength, it was one of the buffest dinosaurs out there, as its fortified neck ensured that it could lift animals weighing a massive 400 kilograms high up into the air inside its jaws. It also had serrated teeth similar to that of a shark in order to deal as much damage as possible, making it a true menace and terror. So it should come as little surprise that the Carcharodontosaurus is often called the African T-Rex. Number 13, the Velociraptor. Okay, if you've ever watched Jurassic Park, then chances are you've heard of the Velociraptor. However, the reality is that the Velociraptors shown in the film were really nothing like those who roamed the Earth in real life. That's because velociraptors in the film were modeled after a much larger species known as the Deinonychus antiropus. Although in my opinion, the real velociraptor was a lot cooler. It looked quite similar to a modern day bird as it was the approximate size of a turkey and was covered in feathers. Instead of hunting in packs, they would simply go solo and chase down relatively small dinosaurs in order to sustain themselves. They would take down their prey by using their curved eight centimeter long claws to slash, jab, and disembowel them and they would often opt to ambush rather than chase them down. So while the Velociraptor may have been small, it certainly was fierce. Number 12, the Sorophaganax. When it comes to scary names, the Sorophaganax is truly elite. This is because while its name may be a mouthful, this Greek word when translated to English means Lord of Lizard Eaters. And it's not hard to see why this dinosaur earned that moniker. Coming from the modern day United States, it usually weighed between four to five tons, and it came at a length of about 11 to 12 and a half meters. It likely preyed on various types of large sauropods and used its strength and crushing teeth to bring down any prey. However, I should note that technically its existence is still up for debate. That's because many believe that the Sorophaganax is simply a species of Allosaurus, and therefore should not have its own distinct name. However, to date, the research seems to suggest that there are two distinct species, although there's a very real chance that further discoveries will change this perception. Number 11, the Gigantosaurus. As the name would suggest, the Gigantosaurus was, well, gigantic. Living between 97 and 100 million years ago across modern day South America, its name translates to giant southern lizard in English. And this is probably because it was about 13 meters long and weighed in at about 14 tons. In order to act as an efficient hunter, it had very powerful legs and a thin pointed tail, which allowed it to be very quick and agile while running, with its maximum speed believed to be about 50 kilometers per hour. It used this speed to chase down large herbivores, and once caught, the Gigantosaurus would clamp down on them with their massive 20 centimeter long serrated teeth. To top this off, just its head alone was believed to be larger than the height of many adult humans, thus ensuring that very little could escape its jaws. So yeah, I think you'd agree that the Gigantosaurus was truly terrifying. Number 10, the Utah Raptor. While movies such as Jurassic Park have enshrined the Velociraptor as the most well-known and dangerous raptor in the eyes of the public, it turns out that the Utah Raptor was certainly scarier. 
considered to be the state dinosaur of Utah and the inspiration behind the raptor on the retro Toronto Raptors logo, the Utah Raptor was far larger than its more famous cousin. At its height of about 1.5 meters, length of about 7 meters, and weight of about 500 kilograms, would make it about 3 times longer and 12 times heavier than your average Velociraptor. In terms of its predatory abilities, the Utah Raptor was also quite strong. One of its greatest assets was its 30 centimeter long claws, which were used to cut down prey in a horrific fashion. It also tended to hunt in packs, allowing it to easily take on much larger dinosaurs with ease. To top this off, its teeth were also very sharp, allowing it to easily tear into the flesh of its unfortunate victims. So, a pack of Utah Raptors truly would have been a terrifying sight. Number 9. The Ankylosaurus While the Ankylosaurus may have been a simple herbivore, it would have been an absolute nightmare to mess with it. That's because it had more in common with a military-grade tank than with other dinosaurs. Now, this dinosaur lived around 68 to 66 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period, and likely roamed across what is now the western United States and Canada, coming in at a length of about 6.25 meters and a height of about 1.7 meters, and with a width of about 1.5 meters, it was a force to be reckoned with if messed with by a larger carnivore. First and foremost, it was almost completely covered with thick armor consisting of massive knobs and oval plates of bone, making it nearly impenetrable. If a predator got too close, it would defend itself by slashing at them with its 3 meter long club tail, which had the potential to deal some serious damage. So, it should come as a little surprise that its name translates rather fittingly to Destroyer of Shins, and admittedly, it would be near impossible to tear a piece out of this impressive dinosaur. Number 8. The Argentinosaurus When it comes to size, no dinos are quite as massive as the Argentinosaurus. Holding the title of being the largest land dinosaur, it came in at a length of about 30 to 40 meters and a weight of up to 100 tons, making it about as large as 17 fully grown African elephants. And you may have guessed, the Argentinosaurus hailed from Argentina, and its most distinguishing feature by far was its 9 meter long neck. While it's not clear whether or not it held its neck vertically as would a giraffe or horizontally so that it could forage for leaves, in either case it survived almost solely off a diet of leaves and would take about 40 years to make it to its adult size. Beyond this physical size, its eggs were also extremely large. At 30 centimeters in diameter, they were some of the largest in natural history. To top this off, it also had good instincts, as rather than living as a solitary dinosaur, the species would travel in herds in order to protect themselves from predators. So, its size, pack mentality, and ability to easily trample an adult human would have made this fantastic beast pretty dangerous. Number 7. The Majungasaurus now, generally speaking, most dinosaurs would prey on smaller, weaker dinosaurs, but the Majungasaurus stands apart due to the fact that it would often cannibalize its own kind. Living in Madagascar between 70 and 66 million years ago, the Majungasaurus was one of the last known non-avian dinosaurs to go extinct, and given its height of about 2 meters, length of about 6, and weight of about 1 ton, it was certainly pretty sizable and likely one of the strongest predators in its habitat. However, what really sets it apart is the fact that it was known to engage in cannibalism. More specifically, a study in the science journal Nature from a few years ago reported the existence of Majungasaurus bones being found with Majungasaurus-sized bite marks. The explanation given was that it must have been done so for either fun or because it was especially hungry, and as you might expect, this initiated a media frenzy where various news sources began to publish articles about this cannibal dinosaur. However, the reality is that many animals engage in cannibalism under extreme circumstances, and given what we know, it's likely that Majungasaurus cannibalism was the exception and not the rule. Despite this, only further research will be able to give us the entire story. Number 6. The Allosaurus While the T-Rex may get a lot of credit for being ferocious, many experts believe that the Allosaurus was far more terrifying. Found around the world in places as diverse as Tanzania, Utah, and Siberia, the Allosaurus lived between 145 and 155 million years ago during the late Jurassic era and came in at a length of up to 13 meters, a height of up to 5 meters, and a weight of about 1.5 tons. It had a lifespan of about 30 years and was able to keep up its strong physique by preying on herbivores such as long-necked sauropods and stegosauruses. 
fossil evidence suggests that these species would often battle it out until one came out victorious, and generally speaking, the Allosaurus would win those battles. This is largely because it had two powerful hind limbs and a large tail that allowed it to chase down and kill its prey quite easily, which it would do thanks to its strong set of teeth. These were sharp and serrated at the edges, ensuring that dinosaurs caught in its grasp would not get away. And there's some evidence that the Allosaurus would attack its prey by using its head like a hatchet, repeatedly slashing with an open mouth as to impale its victims. So yeah, few dinos would willingly mess with this massive meat-eating machine. Number 5. The Stegosaurus While typically looked down upon by herbivores as being relatively benign, I still wouldn't want to have messed with the Stegosaurus. Living during the Jurassic period between 150 and 155 million years ago, this iconic dinosaur generally lived in western North America and Asia, and was, at a length of up to 9 meters and a weight of about 4 tons, essentially the size of a small school bus. On one hand, the Stegosaurus wasn't a smart cookie. In fact, given its brain was the approximate size of a walnut, it even wasn't as large as a cookie. However, since the Stegosaurus's primary concerns were to eat ferns and run from predators, its brain power really didn't have to be all that great. Instead, the Stegosaurus really outperformed in terms of defense, as it had spikes on the end of its flexible tail that pointed both outwards and to the sides in order to deal some serious damage if a predator got too close. It also had 17 spikes along its back, known as scoots, that were positioned in two alternating rows, and while we don't know exactly how they functioned, the blood vessels within these plates suggest that they were likely used to regulate the dinosaur's temperature. While their size also means that they were also probably used by males to attract mates. So I think you'd agree, the Stegosaurus truly was an incredible dinosaur. Number 4. Megalania while Australia is filled with super dangerous creatures today, in prehistoric times, one of the apex predators on the continent was a lizard known as Megalania. It came in at up to 8 meters in length and weighed as much as 2,300 kilograms, which for reference is the equivalent to having the weight of 25 Komodo dragons in one single creature. In terms of its predatory instincts, it was an absolute menace, as it would typically dine on large marsupials, flightless birds, and giant turtles, and generally speaking would eat about 45 kilograms of meat per day. In order to overpower its prey, it had a lot of physical gifts at its disposal, with some of its most useful being its ability to ambush prey by running at it in short bursts, flicking out its tongue in order to sense the movements and characteristics of the potential prey, and use its venomous bite to easily overpower anything in its way. Now, what's interesting about the Megalania is that despite likely being around during the time of the dinosaurs, it also managed to not just look like them, but also outlive them, with the species going extinct about 50,000 years ago. Interestingly enough, this makes them young enough to have been seen by the aboriginal tribes of Australia. And as crazy as it may seem, some of these indigenous tribes have oral legends that likely feature these incredible creatures, making them some of the oldest oral legends in human history. So it is fair to say that the Megalania had an impact that continues to be felt to this day. Number 3. The Spinosaurus while the T-Rex was certainly ferocious, many argue that the Spinosaurus was far more dangerous. Living in the late Cretaceous period, about 99 to 93 and a half million years ago, it was about 18 meters in length and weighed in at about 20 tons. For reference, that's about as long as two school buses and as heavy as four elephants. In terms of looks, its narrow skull, whale-like hips, spindly neck, and paddle-like feet probably made it look pretty strange yet it was exactly these features that made it an efficient predator. You see, unlike most other land dinosaurs, it was in fact semi-aquatic, as it likely spent a fair amount of time hunting for prey in bodies of water. Since it hailed from an area of modern-day northern Africa filled with predators known as the Delta of Danger, this was important, as the Spinosaurus was able to easily traverse the area's swamp-like conditions and snack both on land and aquatic animals. These efforts were assisted by its long tail, which, due to its oar-like shape and mix of interlocking vertebrae, acted very similarly to that of a fish and may have even been used as a weapon to knock out prey. To top all this off, the Spinosaurus also had long extensions of its backbone that grew to at least one and a half meters in length and likely had skin connecting them, forming a sail-like structure. 
While the exact purpose of this sail is unknown, most archaeologists believe that it was used to either regulate body temperature or act as a display piece to attract members of the opposite sex during mating season. So while the Spinosaurus certainly was strange, it was also the S-tier predator. Number 2. The Tyrannosaurus Rex Of all the dinosaurs out there, none are quite as iconic as the Tyrannosaur Rex. Translating to Tyrant Lizard in English, this massive dinosaur existed right before the extinction of the dinosaurs about 66 million years ago, and it grew to about 12 meters in length and 4 meters in height, and likely weighed about 5 tons. Living in what is now Western North America, it was an apex predator within its habitat due to its impressive physical abilities. More specifically, it had strong thighs and a powerful tail that allowed it to counterbalance its large head, allowing it to run at speeds of up to approximately 40 kilometers per hour. For reference, that's just a tad slower than Usain Bolt's maximum speed for his record-breaking 100-meter race. As you might expect, this allowed the T-Rex to chase down its prey quite easily and then chomp down on it with its impressive set of teeth. Measuring in at as much as 30 centimeters in length, these teeth were both serrated and wide and were arranged in such a way that they could withstand the force of a struggling dinosaur. In fact, these teeth were so good at their job that they could take down 230 kilograms of flesh in a single bite, ensuring that their prey could not get away. To top this off, many experts also believe that the T-Rex's arms may have played a large role in how it interacted with its environment. That's because while the internet memes ridiculed T-Rex's arms for being tiny, they were in fact quite large, coming in at up to a meter long and being able to carry up to 100 kilograms. So, it's not hard to see why the T-Rex is one of the world's most fascinating dinosaurs. Number 1. The Ichthyosaurus While the Argentinosaurus may have been the biggest dino on land, the king of the oceans was the Ichthyosaurus. First emerging about 250 million years ago during the late Triassic period, they were large aquatic carnivores that put most of today's aquatic life to shame. Essentially, looking like lizards with fins, they were oftentimes quite massive, as while size varied greatly from species to species, some were as much as 26 meters in length, making them a tad larger than a modern-day blue whale. Now, what's interesting about them is that they've existed for a period of 160 million years, and as a result, they evolved over time from looking like lizards to looking more like massive fish. Their heads were long and narrow, and their jaws were lined with thin, sharp teeth, which they used to catch prey such as fish and squid. They would seek out that prey with their massive eyes, which were larger than any other modern animal. This thing was a menace in the water, as due to their massive tails, they could accelerate to more than 35 kilometers per hour. In tandem, these features managed to place these predators at the top of the aquatic food chain. However, their reign couldn't last forever. That's because they went extinct about 90 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period. And while archaeologists are not sure as to exactly why this happened, the leading theory is that severe climate change altered the water they lived in to temperatures that they simply couldn't adapt to. Regardless, ever since finding the first fossil more than 300 years ago, this species has captivated scientists from around the world. Watch our nature playlist for more top 15 videos about beautiful nature. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best nature videos.